Also, Art Tuesday. Last week we learned how to sketch a star to cheer on the Dallas Stars in the Stanley Final Cup. And two weeks ago we created dynamite sculptures with Play-Doh. It was pretty cool. You were there with me, right? Today we're embracing a different kind of art, performance art. In this case, we're talking about music. And who better to turn to that than the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra? So joining me now is Joni Vashevsky. She's a violinist and she's with the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra, of course. Thanks for joining us here. Well, thank you. I am in the viola section. Viola. Okay, well, yes. you did have, it said something That's, else, but you're is, in the viola section. Very, very important. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Joni. Well, I've been in the Fort Worth Symphony for a very long time. I was, uh, uh, I was really lucky to be able to uh, join the Fort Worth Symphony as a part-time player. Um, so I worked through college as a violist. Wow. And I joined um, many, many years ago before I became uh, full-time. So I was lucky in that aspect and I learned a lot of discipline and I learned a lot of music and I made a lot of friends. Yeah, that does require a lot of discipline. What are the benefits of learning to play an instrument? Oh, well, the, how long do you have? <laughs> well, one thing is that uh, you, you learn all sorts of different kind of disciplines and you get the camaraderie from uh, all sorts of different people. There's you, you learn positive attitudes and you learn how to uh, make short time goals and mm -hmm. long time goals. So it's, it's important that uh, a student or even an adult, it doesn't matter when you start, um, to figure out, well, how can I make my life better? And how can I mm. produce all of these good things that I can learn into other situations? If you want to get up in front of a, a class of uh, in your English class, uh, a lot of uh, students get very anxious about that. But when you start in music, you learn how to focus and how to to just keep your mind on exactly what you're doing and talk to the back of the room, talk to the people right. that are there, because those people are for you. They're not against you. Oh, I like that. So, Joni, I mean, when I was little, I learned how to play the piano. I used to take piano lessons every week. And then, you know, when I went to college, I just kind of stopped playing. And I'm sometimes mad that I did that. So would you encourage parents to start, you know, your child playing an instrument young? And then how do you keep it going? Well, first of all, you, you don't have to start when you're young. The youngest student I ever had was two and a half years old. Wow. Um, she continued to play all the way through college. And I, I sort of lost contact with her then. My oldest student uh, was 82. So I have a range and I, I teach at a university and I've taught, um, I've taught at UTA, I've taught at TCU. Ooh. I teach at uh, Texas Wesleyan University. Um, I've started my own camps. Uh, I have a, a Arco Chamber Music is for, for kids who want to learn uh, in small ensembles and my co-director, Chi O, oh, is, is incredible, and we work very well together. And all of these things help the children and help the students uh, learn to be leaders and learn mm -hmm. how to follow. So I, I believe that that's very important. It helps them in other aspects of their life. Uh, it helps them in interviews. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you want to get a, a job in a, 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 a department store or a leadership uh, skills. Day. I'm sorry? Joni, is your viola standing by? Yes. Because it you're going to play for us right after this break. Don't go anywhere, Joni. All right. Thank I you. can't wait to hear you. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 